Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson and we're looking at drop shots this week. In today's video, I want to talk about just when are a couple good times to use your drop shot. I think of a lot of us, you know, based on style of play, use them at different times, but I've got three times today that I think are kind of universal where a drop shot is a good idea. The first would be an extended rally, all right? And we think of an extended rally where I've maybe made you know, five, six shots from the baseline. So obviously my opponent has made the, the same amount of balls. We're 10 to 12 shots in, and they're proving to me they can be as steady as I can. Maybe I've thrown in a couple with a little heavier pace, and they're staying in the rally with me. So I got to get creative a little bit. To me, 12 shots into a rally, throwing in a drop shot is not a wild card move. It's a calculated move. And, it's, and it can be a very smart play to throw a player off who's, who's as steady as you're playing. So in an extended rally, deeper in the rally, utilize that drop shot sometimes. The second, and this would be the most obvious one, but still, still good to touch on, is anytime I'm at the baseline and I've hit a heavier ball to one of the corners and gotten my opponent really kind of stretched off the court, it obviously opens up the front side of the tennis court. So to me, I, I'm always looking to see if I've moved somebody so far out of position that it takes stress off my drop shot. I think you guys will find as well that your best drop shots execution-wise will be when you don't feel stressed. You feel like it's the right play, the body's relaxed, and you get the right kind of spin and the right kind of landing zone. And to me, it's, it's an obvious play, but wait to see those guys way off the court and start to use that drop shot when the court looks wide open up front. The third would be a little more of an element of surprise. All right, I'm in a rally. Here comes a, a floaty, shorter ball. And as I come up, you guys have seen my videos before. What do I love to do up here? I love to pound short balls with pace, some spin, try to blast winners. That's one of my MOs, I think a lot of us out there do the same thing. So it's a great idea to utilize the drop shot every once in a while, don't go away from your strength, but every once in a while you come up here, you can even use a little bit of disguise, set the big forehand or backhand, and when they think that huge shot's coming, slide underneath the tennis ball, use the drop shot, and you will see people just literally get stuck in the mud because they think they're gonna have to pull back on the ball they're not ready to go forward. A lot of times I've hit bad drop shots and they still work in that situation simply because the expectation from the opponent is that huge heavy short ball that would generally come off a soft, weak short ball sitting out in front of me. All right, so extended rallies, the opponent is way off the court, one of the corners, and then a little element of dis disguise, that short, weak ball, Utilize the drop shot in those three scenarios. I think it's a really smart play once in a while and also very fun. It's really cool when you hit a great drop shot. All right, so that's all I got for you guys today. Hope that was super helpful. Please click like below this video. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so, as well as check down below me in the description of this video. You'll find the link to three free courses that Mark and I have put together. I think you'll find those great as well. All right, so until next time, be well, and we'll see you soon at Daily Tennis Lessons.